Hello everyone, this is Anut from Gadget Cake. Honor launched the Honor Band 4 Running Edition along with the Honor View 20 few days back. And today in this video, we will show you the unboxing and overview of this fitness tracker. So let's start. Honor Band 4 Running Edition will be available from tomorrow, 25th of Feb on Amazon.in. The price of this smart band is Rs 1,599. And guys, before we start, if you are new to our channel, then don't forget to press the red subscribe button and press the bell icon to join our notification squad. So here is the box. In the front of the box, we have the picture of the band itself. And here on the top, we have the name Honor Band 4 Running Edition. Here are few features of this band. This smart band is 580M waterproof, which means you can use it while swimming as well. At the back, we can see the MRP and you can use the smart band in two ways. First is the wrist mode and then the running shoe mode. So let's open the box and see the content now. So first we get the user manual, which is in Chinese, but I think the retail version will have the English manual. Then we get the attachment, which is basically a shoe buckle. About that, I will tell you in a moment. Here is the USB charger, which is actually better as it's a plug and play, and you don't need any cable to charge the smart band. And here is the smart band module itself. This has the 0.5 inch plastic OLED display, and there is this one touch button in the front to navigate. And as expected, this smart band doesn't have the heart rate sensor. And then we have this strap. It's a two tone strap, and the one we have here is the black and red combination. The smart band will be also available in green color. Apart from these two color, in China this band is available in few different colors, which looks really sporty. To attach the module, you just need to push the main module like this and it snaps right in, something which we have seen in the MI bands. Now about the build quality, I find it pretty good, it's well built and the strap is also pretty good. It's very lightweight and comfortable to wear as well. The strap is a traditional style like the Honor Band 4. So in terms of design and the build quality, we like it and the Honor Band 4 Running Edition offers good build quality. Now in order to turn it on, you would need to connect it to a power source. Once it's turned on, you can now pair it with the phone. Pairing process is really simple and you need to download the app Huawei Health, which is available for both Android and iOS. Initially you won't see the Honor Band 4, but in few seconds you'll get the update where it will start showing you the Honor Band 4 Running Edition. And when you see that, just tap on it and follow the instructions on the screen. It's paired, but the language of the band is in Chinese. But as soon as you pair the smart band, you will get an update which will change the language to English. So it's paired now. Let me show you the options we have on the smart band. So here we have the date and time and the main watch phase. And here you can see the remaining battery and the Bluetooth connection on the top. To navigate, you need to use the front touch button. Here we have the step counts, distance, calorie burn and sleep data. The band also has the find my phone feature. And lastly, we have the settings. Here we have the option to reboot and turn off the smart band. Honor Band 4 also support race to wake feature and during our testing, we find it works pretty good. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can use the smart band in two ways. First is the regular wrist mode and then the footwear mode. So with the provided shoe buckle, you can use the smart band like this. This smart band is the first budget fitness tracker which has the 6 axis sensor which can accurately collect data when using in the footwear mode. So as the name of the band which is the running edition, this band is specially designed for running purpose and other fitness activities. And guys, we will be testing this fitness tracker more in few days and we'll let you know how accurate the data we get in our review so stay tuned for that. And also, if you would like us to compare this with any other smart band, then do let us know in the comment section below. Now moving towards the app, the Huawei Health app is very simple to use and has all the details in it. See on the home page, you have the footsteps and then below it you have the various other details. We have covered this app in detail in our review of the Honor Band 4 and if you want to see that, then I'll leave the link to the video in the description below. I have only used this fitness band for a day and here are the data. It's pretty accurate when it comes to sleep tracking and other details. And here we have the settings of the band. It shows you the remaining battery on the top and here you can select the apps for which you want the alert on your smart band. Talking about the alert, here is how you get the call alert. 
It doesn't show the number or name but only an icon and same for the messages or any other app alert. According to Honor, the 77 million power battery of this band will give you 20 days of standby time which is decent enough. So overall we think that the Honor Band 4 running edition is first of all priced right at rupees 1599. It is mainly designed for running purpose and with the 6x sensor this tracker can record accurate data when it comes to running. The 0.5 inch plastic OLED display is bright enough but in direct sunlight it struggles a bit. The design of this band is pretty good and I really like the sporty two tone color of the strap. So to sum it up, if you're looking for a fitness tracker without all the unnecessary features and want to just record your running and fitness session, then we definitely recommend this fitness tracker. And as always, if you like it and want to buy one, then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and overview of the Honor Band 4 running edition. Let us know if you like this budget fitness tracker and also do tell us if you're already using a fitness tracker and what you like about it in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.